Hey, what is going on, you out there? Yes, you. I'm talking to you. Yeah, stop looking around. I'm talking about you, the person in the chat. It's time for Final Fantasy VI Worlds Collide, the open world randomizer. And we've got a special treat on the deck for you tonight. My name is the Schwantz 27 I am joined by Nehru Liana. Nehru, how is everything going this evening so far? Oh, it's been going absolutely amazing. It's amazing to be in the booth here at last. How are you doing this evening? I'm doing awesome. Just got home from work, ready to get into some Final Fantasy VI Worlds Collide. We are doing something rather interesting tonight, and there is a lot of word vomit on your screen right now. <laughs> but basically, we are doing a co-op multi-world 2v2 uh, archipelago seed. Uh, Nehru, you're familiar with the multi-world concept, correct? Oh yeah, I've totally seen this with A Link to the Past. Hey, did you, didn't you have my item? That's what these racers might be saying to one another. Yeah, go to this really bad spot. It might be, you know, something that is completely unnecessary, like a Genji helmet, or it may be just, you know, my Sabin chilling in the worst possible location in the entire game. So essentially what you're going to be looking at on screen, the top runners are playing in the same ROM, the bottom runners are playing the same ROM, and it's team left versus team right. So runner one's rewards might be in the world of runner two. And average team time or total team time, because really average is just plus divided by two, right? We can math. Uh, so well, that's totally. that's going to determine who wins. So let's go take a look at the game zone here as we've got uh, our runners. So team left is team Zelfer and team Hefe. They are known as Zelfer's unlucky Hefe, uh, according to the chat. And then one free fits versus <laughs> and drinks glue rather. They are team oil and water. So going to be some interesting times here. Um, who are you hoping to see for a start, Nehru? What what characters are you hoping to see that pop up on screen here? Setzer. If anything, I just want to see a Setzer. Maybe Setzer, Celis, Edgar. Okay. Good. Well, good. They're nice. Well, listen, we have a chance of getting six different starting characters because, as I mentioned, the top runners have the same seed, as you can see by the, the four cool little sprites there, the hash. And the bottom runners have the same seed, but it is team left versus team right. And we'll see which one of our runners have. Uh, the settings for this, as we were talking about a little bit earlier, are standard Ultra League flags with two additional objectives. So this is practice actually for a charity marathon to uh, benefit the uh, rescue dogs. I don't know what the charity name is right now. I should have looked this up beforehand. I'll find it in just a minute. <laughs> but... As part of the charity marathon, we are having incentives to either let Sid die or to save Sid as requirements for unlocking Final Kafka and whether or not we're performing in an opera. So for this run, we are killing Sid and we're performing in an opera. Are you, Nehru, on the side of let's save Sid or Sid is a war criminal, let's kill Sid? I love seeing Sid saved. The vanilla cutscene is adorable and so wholesome, and I'd hate to see him die. Yeah. That no would... more Celeste trauma, too. <laughs> yeah, C Celeste has been through <laughs> enough, right? You know, she she's she's putting her time and effort. She was getting the, the crud kicked out of her in the basement when we found her. Um, so let's, let's hope for the sake of the marathon later. Um, that there are, well, it's not even the runners, it's the crowd voting with their wallets picks to uh, save Sid. So we're going to get our runners off and oh, going no. here in just a minute, and we'll see if we have our Setzer, Celeste, and Edgar. Were those, those the characters that you wanted to see? Yes, indeed. Yeah. They're my babies, my tried and true. I think, they're, I think they might be part of my vanilla Kefka team. Yeah, they are, I mean, they have some of the better equipment pools in the whole entire thing and we are off we do have an edgar and we have a couple and there's of a bots. Sensor out, well, down below oh look at that so we've got beautiful on top we've got uh edgar and Locke and cyan and on the bottom we've got lock and ed lock and sabin and setzer um 
So we'll see where our runners decide to go. Again, tracking this is going to be a bit of a nightmare. So huge shout out to Joker Mage jumping in to help me track uh, on this tonight as well. And we see the runners on the bottom are both in Narsh. I think One Free Fits is going to go get this check here. And we'll see exactly what the reward is. It'll pop up on the screen in the little box. So let's see what it is. What shall we obtain? Tr we have a Tritoc sent to glue. Oh my. Yeah, so we have a Minerva for one free fits. And we have a Tritoc for glue. So glue gets himself uh, one piece of progression there right away. And uh, Fitz is going to go ahead and get one check done for his side. Which is always nice. Mm -hmm. Let's see what the curse shield is. 13. Yick. I think that is the maximum curse shield count in this flat. Oh, no. It's, is it 6 Ooh. to 15, maybe? All right. So Saban, I'm unsure. Saban has rage. Uh, X magic, I think, was one of the others in control. For Hefe, he briefly looked at the commands there. Nothing to really ride home about. And we got the opera scene. Look, from we Zelfer. have an opera. Yeah, so should I I cannot do an I cannot do your impressions today. I don't want to get us copyrighted, but if I could, I would. Let's see if we can get his audio up on screen now. You might hear cross chatter because they are supposed to be on the same team with one another. But I think we'll give the audience what they want. We'll give them the opera song. I think the the chat would riot if uh, we we actually sang this song out. <laughs> and Listen, not, not all I know way. is the Pixel Remaster version. That's all I know is Pixel Remaster. I've almost got it fully memorized, but I don't think y'all want to hear me sing. <laughs> not today. Maybe tomorrow. That'll be a, a different marathon donation incentive, and it looks like Team uh, Zelfer's other Hefe. Um, is both going, they're both going to do the opera scene. So, little little break for them. It's about a four and a half minute cutscene, but it's a very popular one amongst the fans, so that's why, that's why we do it here. And service. Listen guys, we gotta make sure you're occupied while we're commentating. Have your opera. Be happy. Please be happy. <laughs> All right, so just to update what we were talking about before, we are going to be doing a charity marathon this Saturday, noon Eastern Daylight Time. We did uh, we did lose an hour of sleep this weekend, which is kind of annoying. Uh, did you have any uh, issues getting out of, out of bed, Nehru, this morning? Aw, uh, where'd my sleep go? <laughs> yeah, never any fun there. Uh, but... The marathon is on Saturday at noon Eastern time, and it is going to be a 2v2 multi-world race. There will be different competitors in the race, including myself. I will be one of the racers uh, in for one of these other runners here who's doing practice. We're just making sure we have our settings file correct, you know, and all that. But the charity marathon is benefiting Blue Path Service Dogs. So Blue Path Service Dogs uh, offers assistance in the form of service dogs to people with autism in order to help them assimilate into a sense of uh, comfort as they live out their lives. So really excited to be doing a charity marathon for this charity. It's really, really good. That is amazing. And service dogs in general are absolutely amazing. And they can be the cutest little things, too. <laughs> Definitely an amazing source of comfort. Yeah, so it's run by Multithon. So twitch.tv slash Multithon. And they have an update on the pup uh, that, that they have adopted. So we scraped together enough money, I think, last time to adopt a, adopt a dog. And the dog's name is Thunder. So Thunder is a... Uh, uh, a golden lab it looks like um and he's weighing in about 70 pounds so he's getting much bigger and uh is starting to help out someone in need so that's really awesome and really great that really is and a, and a golden retriever too that's adorable what a love they're loving dogs 
All right, so that is another Esper for drinks glue from One Free Fits there. That is his second Hello, check. Hello, Shoat. Yeah, Shoat is going to be decent for the final fight. Because remember, we are not only worried about what the heck we're doing next, but we're always worried about the last battle since it's always kind of the same. Um, so that's good to see right away. Would you like some calmness protection? Oh, give it about five minutes. <laughs> Phantom. Uh, I remember Phantom. Yeah, we'll see. Phantom if... Golem. <laughs> Can we have a golem, please? Yeah, and oh, Fenrir. I can't do it, and Saberwolf's not here, so I, 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 I just, I, I'll, I'll try. Um, all right, so Zelfer oh! is going to be killing Sid here. Uh, Sid is bedridden, unfortunately, right now. And he basically loses one HP every second. And he starts at 120 HP. And if you feed him one of those really, really slow fishes, he loses HP. That really fast fish gains him HP. And those medium fish will obviously do somewhere in the middle. So we're going to feed Sid the slow fish because uh, he finna die in order for the clown to go down. Man, I thought we were going to spare him today. Apparently, we're not allowed to have that. <laughs> oh no, a dinosaur. One free fits taken off oh, the no. mobile charm. He has a rage, though, with blowfish on it. That's nice. Mm, yes, a thousand needles. We gotta really make sure that we get in all those punches. Yeah, so especially at level three, doing a flat thousand damage is really nice because... It's basically for free here. And it looks like Setzer has control. So what One Free Fits is doing is using control in order to make sure that the dinosaur doesn't eat them. Although that looks like a plant-eating dinosaur, so I don't know what kind of uh, danger his party's really in anyway, right? <laughs> oh, it can't be that bad. Maybe. I, I don't know. I think Hefe is, be just, fine. Hefe is just talking to the birds here? What, what is he doing? We like to converse. We like to conversing with birds, guys. <laughs> tweet, tweet. You know. Uh oh. So Zelfer uh, unfortunately sent Sid to his early grave here, and Drink School looks like they are going to be doing their weapon shop check. So that's going to be a uh, a check for him. And that a is go go be... over there for for fits. Ooh. Ooh. A nice. go go. I don't know if Fitz will be happy to see that or not. But that is another mm -hmm. character that you can use to, you know, mimic the rage command, if you will. So we could be doing double blowfish. Hey, Schwanz? Yes. I know we planned originally to do it by seed for tracking, but I feel it might be easier to do team tracking. Okay. All right. So I I'll take Lou and Fitz. Sounds good. All right, so One oh, Free nice. Fitz did dip into the Coliseum. Did you happen to see what was in the list? Oh, he's going back in, thank goodness. Oh, yes, I actually didn't even notice. I, lo I looked at the tracker one too many times. <laughs> That's what happens when you start no, talking about DK. the tracker. Oh, okay. So Setzer trading his cards. The gambling man is now going to be set up with that Valiant Knife there. And he's going to uh, yes, fight a donut. Ah, yes, our favorite gambler. <laughs> our favorite gambler don't give your gamblers knives guys no unless it's for unless it's for clown killing purposes all right so zelfer sending an esper over to hefe from the figaro throne the problem with this fight here for fitz who's fighting a crawler and not the delicious donut kind that we like uh it's hard to hit this crawler I'm more partial yeah, it's to like those... trying to hit a cactuar. <laughs> I'm more partial to like the blueberry donuts. You ever have those at Dunkin Donuts? Those are good. Oh, those sound that does sound really good. I like jelly filled donuts. Yeah, jelly jelly is also a good way to go too. What do, what what don what are the donuts what are the favorite donuts of the chat? Uh it looks like Locke has the Magitek ability for the top team. 
So if we find Celeste, which is what you had wanted, right, Nay? Uh, we can yeah, go get that magic attack upgrade. So that would be awesome to have. It would be, because guess what? You gotta have them tech missiles. GP rain also popping off from Cyan here. Unfortunately, with this many enemies, the GP rain damage does get divided a bit. And it looks like Drinks Glue taking off the Moogle Charm has Edgar jumping up in the air. And uh, just like the House of Pain, he likes to get jumping. He does. The Vanilla Dragoon. Gotta love him. Alright, so one free fits eventually ate his crawler and does have a valiant knife for his lock, which is gonna be real, real helpful. Um alright, so Hefe sends a shout over to uh over to Zelfer. So that's another check for Hefe and an Esper for Zelfer. Are we doing a go-go check? Did we move the party down to one? It looks like it. Yeah. It's right. go-go check time. All right, folks in the chat. Uh, how many bridge tosses do we think we're getting here? I'm going to go with at least one. What two. do you think, Nay? Two. We're two. Going to, we're going Just two? Boop. We don't think Fitz can get by without without a, without a chuck. <laughs> Just one. Zone, zone or slurp? Yep. Good job. And into the beast we go. He's right. a little hungry. Nom 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 nom. Nom well, nom nom. Well, Fritz, uh, Fritz, wow. Uh, we're not playing Chrono Trigger. <laughs> One free Fitz ate his crawler, so Zone Eater had to eat Fitz's character. It's only it's only fitting, right? It is only fitting. Meanwhile, Zelfer in the Norse weapon shop sending Gogo -Go over to Hefe. Oh. And there is the first bridge throw. See you later. Uh, Knuckly yeah, agrees. Yeah, the items down here weren't that good. Blaze is S tier. S tier donut. Oh, that sounds really good. Maple Don't frosted. tempt me. What did you say, Joker? Sorry. Maple frosted. Oh, maple frosted. Wow. Oh. I'm a New Englander, like Saberwolf, so we have to represent. <laughs> well, my 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 real name is Brian, and yes, I am a basic Brian. So I also like my pumpkin donuts too. You gotta, you gotta have them at that time of the year. Oh. Listen, I have my basic moments too. I can't say no to a pumpkin spice latte. That was a pretty hard hit on uh, Fitz's side. Uh, did he save before Crusher? Ouch! I, I hope so, because he got one bridge. Th okay, he did save. Yeah. He got one bridge throw and one room crush, so he's going for. Can we get the trifecta? Does he have warp stones, or does he have to walk back out of this too? I he might have gotten warp stones. It's either he picked one up from a chest or he bought one, but I think we have them. Yeah, if we didn't have them, then this zone eater play is. Just awful to walk back out. The walk of shame. Never fun. Okay, it is the And that was a Magus Rod. Yeah, yick. So that is not something you really need. There it is. We do have the warp stones. I think Drinks Glue is in Figaro Engine Room now? Yes. Alright, so we're gonna get to see that first check. It was not a character that was leading the way in Gerard's place. What a, what a lousy disguise Edgar had. <laughs> Here's the funny thing. It's also, if you rearrange the letters to Gerard, guess what you get? Edgar. Oh my. Not very creative, Edgar. <laughs> no. <laughs> Maybe that's his alias so the Empire doesn't know it's him. I mean, he, he probably gives that name out as a smooth talker with the ladies. He's like, hey, I know what my alias is when I go out and have too many drinks. We're going to go with Gerard here. Barad. <laughs> Ooh, this is not a fun fight at low levels. Rexol. Especially not with a Pearl Lance either. Should probably point out that uh, the only time checks are peekable in Archipelago is when they're for your own world. 
if you're finding something that's essential for someone else's world, it's just going to show up as generic because it's an archipelago item. So you, it's very hard to peek things. All right. So well, at least this Rexel's dead. Yeah, glue sacrificing an ice shield for his soul to be saved. That is a small price for freedom there. And let's see what the doom or let's see what the pasta bed gives us. It's an Esper for one that free fifth. All right, so that's another Yay. Esper there for. Uh... This time, actually, it's going the other way. Thankfully, for once. And up we go out of the sand, and probably only to go right back down. Gotta check out that weird- Oh, wait, we're not checking out the mysterious castle. Yeah, I think Glue did not go to the throne yet, so you can check the throne first, and then you can go down- Odin to... has been sent. And then you can go down to the ancient castle. So that's yet another how Esper. long it's been down there. The ancient castle is a pretty neat part of this game. It is. I think it's a very interesting place to go, and wow. There it's... The music when you're on your way down to it, it gives a sense of desperation, and it's kind of nice. Do you know my favorite part of the ancient castle? What is your favorite part? What's your favorite part? The dragon. <laughs> Oh yeah, the ABCs! Always be killing dragons! I, I quite rather like the poem that doesn't rhyme. It's like, come on. I know that you're in love with this guy, but you can't even string two words that rhyme together. Come on now. Like... At least Cyan I can't is... make a poem to save my life. <laughs> At least Cyan is writing meaningful love letters. I know, right? Proud of him. <laughs> So it looks like Zelfer peaked to Zen Thief, and it's only 16k, so he just has a couple more things to sell before he can go buy something for uh, either himself or his teammate. And it's a Minerva for himself. And one free fits is going to go save a little a kid. Well, we can't leave the kid in there. Poor kid. I mean, the kid could literally do anything. And he chose to, like, stand still up on top of a dresser. I always thought it was a fireplace. I forget what it looks like, and oh, now is this it? is going to remind me. <laughs> you, might be right. you might be right. I think you, you might be right here. A pug. Yeah. Come let's... on, this pug just wants to give you a hug. No, run away from that That's fight. a rhyme. Yeah. See, you're even better than the uh, the poem in the ancient castle. Oh, you're right. It is a fireplace. It's like, kid. I forgot it was a fireplace. Kid, get off the fireplace. What are you doing? Do, would you like to? Would you like to be crispy? <laughs> oh man. I will be back. Oh boy, something just happened. I'm very sorry, but I will be back. Okay. All right. Glue is going to dodge, duck, dip, dive, and dodge out of the way of that dragon to pick up Shoat for one free fits at the Ancient Castle spot. And we'll fight the dragon. Because remember, the dragons count as checks, folks. So you can drop anything for your, your teammate here. Interesting to, thing to note is that uh, Drinks Glue lost his ice shield already. Uh, not that it would help him really in this fight. It would nullify the water attacks, but Cyan throwing money at the problem. Let's go. Cashing in. And, okay. Well, Fitz sends Realm to Drink Glue, and Drink Glue goes, I'll see your Realm, and send another one right back at you. So, two Realms in a row. Joker, do two Realms make a right? <laughs> well... There's a dead dragon involved, so I'll say yes. <laughs> Alright, so let's see. Glue kills a dragon, so let's crank that counter up. And I think he's at five checks now. So let's do that. Meanwhile, Fitch just finished the collapsing house. 
So that's another check that our runners can do. I'm sorry, I haven't been really keeping checks. It's all good. I always forget. Meanwhile, Zelfer is telling the soldiers at Dolma Castle, fight me, bro, and is up to level 10. Uh-oh. Better take another grind fight. Yeah. Don't want to accidentally fight Doomgaze here. <laughs> Drinks glue digging in the monster in a box just finds an aloe vera. Or an all over, if you rearrange <laughs> the letters in this monster's name. The cheeky translation there. All right, so Realm with 56 magic power base and morph for one free fit. So that is a that is a beefy realm. And we've got a ghost train on Zelfer's side. Unfortunately, we do not have Blitz here. But we do have a fixed dice and a sniper in the Colosseum for Hefe. Is that uh, Doma Defense? That is Doma Defense here for, uh, for Zelfer. Did somebody say fixed dice in a sniper sight? There we go. Yeah, so Hefe digging around in the Colosseum, finding some fixed dice, and oh! Sabin with, a, with a, a big brain play, but it didn't actually work out. And Sabin. Come on, Sabin. There it is. Teleporting that sea barnacle to another Good job. dimension. Good job. All right, so while you were gone, Drinks Glue sent Realm to Fitz, and Fitz sent Realm to one free to, to Drinks Glue. So we have, we, oh, have man. we have two realms, and two realms don't make a right. Oh, there's a Genji Glove and a Valiant <laughs> Knife there. Wow. Clean up in the Colosseum uh, for Hefe. Snow Muffler? Yeah. Snow Mufflers are very nice. How cozy. Love those. Mmm, very cozy. I always thought they were earmuffs. Like, really comfy earmuffs. The thing is, they wouldn't be earmuffs. I feel like it'd just be like this really comfy winter winter jacket. I was thinking more like along the lines of a Snuggie. You know, the ones with the pockets in them. You ever see those infomercials? I think. I feel like it'd be just nice and puffy and just like... The, Super duper cozy and enough to keep you warm. They're the blankets with sleeves. <laughs> oh my gosh. I think I would love that. It's pretty, it's pretty I, That would be so cozy. It's pretty cool. I would Realm admit. would have that. We have Dream up on the glue side. Alright, so this... A Dream? The Cyan's Dream. Three checks. And we'll see what we get here as Hefe eats his donut for his Valiant Knife. I wish I, which I wish I could have a donut. Oh, my puppy! <laughs> yep. Hi, Atma Weapon. <laughs> oh, I thought you were saying the, the donut is your puppy. I was like, wait a minute. Oh, that's my puppy up there. It's having a good day. Don't worry. <laughs> He's fine. He can't hurt anybody. Ooh, this is not Come a on, fun fight here for for Hefe. It's so small. <laughs> it looks like Fitz is trying to uncurse the shield using Sabin. Yeah, that was a 13 battle curse shield, so that's going to take a while there, I think. Meanwhile, another dragon for Zelfer. The white shirt, the white dragon. dragon. Yeah, this Durgan. is gonna, this is gonna be a tough fight for Hefe because hitting a uh, enemy that small is very difficult. <laughs> or throw a rock. It might at take it. a while. <laughs> throw a rock at it and does does two damage. Meanwhile, Realm is wearing a Moogle suit, so she looks like Mog. So, question for you, Nehru. It's not Mog. Is uh, is the Moogle suit made out of real Moogle or is it synthetic Moogle? Oh, no. No, we don't want to think about that? Okay. I uh, have a weapon down. <laughs> Moogle. It's real Moogle. There we go. 
And, Sorry, guys. We had to harvest a Moogle. And Durgan down. So that's that's a Crusader Durgan. Esper there for glue. So that's his third. Whoa. That had the button. And I we have Ultima. For Does it? Uh oh. It, that thing had Ultima. Wow. Very nice. Yeah, so since this is our standard racing flags, we do need to get to six characters and nine espers. 21 checks for a skip. But uh, we also have access to Ultima, which, as Nehru just mentioned, is now available on Crusader. And hey, look at who it is. It's Zozo. Hello, Celis. Now back away from the edge, sweetie. You might be sending <laughs> a bird, but back up. Fitz has to fight the dreaded tunnel armor. Not the tunnel armor. Rut row. This is the how to use Ruh -roh, runic. Raggy. This is how to use the runic tutorial boss. But uh, in Worlds Collide, it's not much of a problem. We don't even need to uh, throw a thunder rod at it, like in the vanilla speed run. Speaking of runic, she's vanilla. Natural she's magic runic. <laughs> she's. It depends on what magic she has. Is she French vanilla or just straight vanilla? Yeah, so the spells in Natural Magic are randomized, so she won't have the same ones as she does in the vanilla game, like the, the ice spells, but we can get random other kinds of magic, which could be cool. French vanilla. Proud of her. Meanwhile... Nice having, it's nice having Runic for some things. Yeah. If you need MP for, say, casting Ultima a bunch of times, it's certainly something you could do. Drinks glue taking off MP the mobile charm and getting Darken. the Magitek armor. So if you take off the mobile charm here in the dream, you can actually grind with the Magitek command, which is pretty nice. The sprites get a little glitchy, but hey, we'll just ignore that. And Hefe running into Gigantos. Uh oh. If he can survive this fight, though, he's going to be. Nice and XP rich for uh, the rest of the seed, but it's just Saban v another big buff guy. Which one of the big buff guys will win, and we'll never know. <laughs> wow. Meanwhile, one looks, free. Fits. Yeah, it looks like Zelfer found her go go. Yeah, so we're gonna see that coming up in just a second here. So another, another one, another character there. For another Zelfer. one. <laughs> DJ Khaled. And... That's the best impression you can get out of me. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> We're done now. Go. Okay, that one was alright too. So, uh, it looks like Cyan already has Ultima on, on deck here, which is nice. The big blue button. Oh boy. This might be something to use the big blue button for. Yeah, a, uh, a Magi Master in the sky. And Fitz is going to say, I'll come back later. <laughs> did he search for the skies or did the skies search for him? <laughs> dun, dun, dun. <laughs> yeah, we're going to hold off on doing that for quite a while. And Hefe is going to do some grinding. Um... Because he desperately needs to get levels. He's only done a couple of checks, but he's had a few things sent to him by his teammate Zelfer. So thanks, Zelfer, for being a jerk and sending me stuff. How dare you send him things? Alright, Fitz is in Daryl's tomb. This is another one of Setzer's checks. Spooky. Spooky. Very creepy. Although I must say, if I ever die and if you're buried, if you're going to bury me in this, like, labyrinth, it's a bit excessive. Just, just, just throw me in the ground somewhere. Don't be like Locke. <laughs> Don't be like Locke. Oh. At least Setzer knows how to let go. Oh, no. Oh, hi. All right. So oh. we, we, bid, we beat math this time. Guys, I don't know how to do math. 
Well, it's it's very simple. In this case, does the number end with five or zero? If it's not, you live. Don't worry, it's gonna be fine. Everything's oh, fine. Oh, there goes Otris for Zelfer. I didn't even see what that boss was. Good on you for actually catching it. <laughs> that was Opera House Ultros. Uncle Ulti. Hugs. <laughs> they just want to give you a hug. Don't worry. Don't be afraid. Well, the Pugs do have a chance to drop Minerva's, so this could be... This could be beneficial. However, we have to survive this fight. Oh, no. I will say the only thing more embarrassing than losing to L5 Doom is wiping to L4 Flare. Oh, yeah, for sure. All right, so Drinks Ooh. Glue takes care of that bony dragon, right? It's kind of like a dragon. Dragon. All right, and Drinks Glue sends Edgar over to Fitz. So that is a six character there already for one free Fitz. Congrats, Unf you got a, you got Edgar. Unfortunately, he can't use Edgar until he's done with this check and goes back to the airship. Uh, Zelfer's in the Phoenix Cave. I had cave. no clue what was there. Oh, Phoenix Cave. That has a dark... Okay, I understand. <laughs> Wow, a couple of nasty bosses okay. on the bottom half of the screens here. A little Inferno action and little Three Stooges action. I have I did not catch what was resting in Daryl's tomb though. It was an archipelago item, so we do not know yet either. Your guess is as good as oh, mine. Oh <laughs> boy. Esper. You think I it's, think gonna, it's an Esper. You think it's an Esper? I think it's a I think One Free Fitz is going to return the favor and give a Genji helmet back to Drinks Glue. You gave me a Genji helmet? I'm going to give you a Genji helmet. That was a Genji shield, actually. Oh, a shield? Oh, a, a, oh, okay, a, a somewhat downgrade then. Uh-oh. And uh, Realm has been smoking the reefer. Battle of Realm. Very powerful. As they say, very beautiful, very powerful. Alright, so let's see wow, if Hefe can get through Inferno. Oh god, here comes the Delta hit. Because the arms grew back, unfortunately. Who's getting punted? Oh, bye, Gogo. Got a lot of drug users here on the bottom half of the screen between Realm and Gogo. Love to see it. And I think we're going to see two dragon fights on the top half of the screen here. Dargan. Now, Zelfer already saw what this white dragon has, right? Uh... I do not know. Oh, wait, yeah, they know what this white dragon has. Let's see. What, what's... It was at... Storm Dragon, so this is a Pearl Lance. Taking a look at the... Oh, uh, yeah, a Pearl Lance. A Gold Dargan. <laughs> Alright, so the Gold Dragon... You can... Uh, you can Berserk the Gold Dragon, or you could just throw money at it like Cyan is. Rich Uncle Pennybags there. Well, you kind of got to be rich if your wife passed. Got to get them oh. life savings. That inheritance. He inherited all of Doma Kingdom, including the treasure. All right, so... And Hef now we have our Celests. Yeah, so Hefe gets through that Inferno fight, sending Unicorn over to Zelfer. So Hefe threw with his third... Only his third check... But that was because he was in the Coliseum for a bit. And they have already done, they meaning the left team, has already done the opera and the Let Sid Die objective. It looks as if the item that was in Daryl's tomb is a snow muffler. Another Snuggie. Mmm, cozy. Ooh. 
a Blitz Edgar. I feel like that's a keeper. That's going to be in the end game party. Yeah, also has natural magic, yeah. so maybe we might get lucky and get some cool spells. Hefe, meanwhile, gets a Genji helmet out of the Phantom Train and is going to wisely reset. So, I, I'm not sure about this because I know this is the behavior in A Link to the Past, as you mentioned, because I've watched a bunch of those seeds. But that Genji helmet, even though Hefe reset out of that check, he still technically has it because the Archipelago client already gave it to him. Is that correct? I do love that. That can I have happen no clues. Uh, several of the checks where you get the like if you get the reward, you can save scum. Uh, whether or not that should be, uh, you know, accepted is, I guess, up to the runners themselves. All right. So, meanwhile, Zelfer coming out of the Phoenix Cave with a Force Shield and a Magus Rod for Hefe. Not a very lucrative trip down into the Phoenix Cave, unfortunately. And Drinks Glue. Be better. Drinks Glue found Celeste. And. Realm's got the Snuggie on. Let's go. Well, she's got to be nice and cozy. She's only 10. Okay, so Liquid Miro clarifying in if you get your own item, which Hefe did, you actually lose the item by resetting. But if it's a it's if it's an item for your friend or for someone else, then they get to keep it even if you reset. So, yes, thank you for clarifying that behavior. We have a Dargan, a nice little dragon, down there with Hefe. Just a skull dragon. You know, uh, we do show that the team on the right is, is ahead, but we should also remember our tracker doesn't keep track of the Opera House in Killing Sid checks. <laughs> Sets her with that high roll. Let's go, Fixed Dice. Come on, gambler. You know how to gamble. You know your job. Good numbers. Meanwhile, Drinks Glue, it, does he have the Edgar with Blitz? Oh no, he's got... So he went through Cyan's Dream and has Sword Tech on Sabin. So yeah, that's a uh, that's an easy Sayonara to uh, that there Phantom Train. You get it? Sayonara? <laughs> wow. <laughs> I had to take the opportunity. I'm picking up what you're putting down there. Meanwhile, Zelfer is going to be very pleased because that the Dirt Dragon was his Strago. We'll have oh, to, yeah. We'll have to ask Gotta him about that, that in the interview. That is his favorite character, Sarcasm. <laughs> Don't mind my puppy. He's just having a very sour day. All right. Fitz grabs himself another Esper there on the throne. Thank you very much. I'll take that. Heir to the throne, Carbuncle. Gotta love that. Car Carbuncle is very, very adorable. We'll cast Reflect on your entire party. So good to use if you, uh, you know, let's say you're going up against Poltergeist or maybe Magimaster or, uh, or maybe Doomgaze to make sure you don't die all the time and uh drink scoop cutting up a bunch of frogs ribbit ribbit all right so that is crusader for zelfer there and i believe crusader is it was either crusader or alexander that had the ultima yeah, I think it is Crusader now that you mention it. I took a look super fast. Is these runners, by the way, go give them a follow in case you are wanting to uh, support the runners on the stream. Uh, I, I believe it was from this check that we had noticed it. So Ultima on the table now for Zelfer. I love having a nice little Ultima. And down goes... Poor, poor Uncle Ulti. <laughs> Didn't stand a chance. And a, a Pearlance for Fitz. Did not stand a chance. Pearlance for Fitz. 
Yeah, poor, poor old. A few moments later. Reconnect was Yay. successful. We should be back now. Refresh your uh, Very page. sorry. Very sorry we had internet difficulties. Well, service difficulties. Yeah, I don't know what the heck happened there. All right, so what did you miss? OBS is being a pain. What did you miss? Yeah, Hefe, chat. Hefe reset out of Magi Master, drinks glue, and one free fits are in the same. Oh, God, what is this disaster? Literal disaster. <laughs> Brachiosaur using what? the disaster spell, and we got a bunch of confused imps for fits. We have a doom gaze up there for Zelfer, and Locke got absolutely bonked. Yeah, math gets the best of Locke there, unfortunately. And Fitz did take out Gigantos in a box, in case you missed that one. A Gigantos in a box. I mean, how does it fit in there? Look at how big he is. I don't know. Trying to think of the name. I can do this. <laughs> you know, like, those people who can, like, stuff themselves in the suitcases? That's what this guy Gigantos can do. The Contortionist Gigantos. I think that's the word you maybe were looking for, yes? Question mark? That is! There we Thank go. you! Alright, so both of our runners have taken down the big beefy bag of XP. And... We'll see what's at the end of Imperial Camp here for uh, for Glue. And it looks Unicorn. like it's... Unicorn. Unicorn for one free fits. Congratulations. Another Esper on the table. Oh, that's that's a pretty good one. Cure three, life. Not bad. Eight we'll take it. Esper too. Good for your Atma weapon or, and or Valiant Knife user. Yeah, perfect. Now goes Doom Gaze for Zelfer. And Imperial Camp commencing over with Hefe. And it's another dinosaur. Rawr. Fitz Down is... the waterfall we go. Oh no. It is a floating painting. The chat. I wonder how it survives. <laughs> Pure will and determination. Looks like we interrupted her during her wonderful shower in the waterfall. <laughs> Very unfortunate. The button has been called upon. Gotta love the button. Yeah, it's, a boggy. It is an easy answer to lots of different questions, and there goes the doggy. <laughs> oh man, there it goes. Well, Zelfer does Ragnarok Esper to glue. Oh, nice. Oh. Yeah, Espers are. Uh, are different. Espers are getting to be hard to come by so far in this seed. We're forty-five minutes in, and. I think the most we have is four on a runner's side. Oh no, it looks like drink uh, one free fits is five. Let's update that here. So, is this going to be a character for... Oh wait, I'm thinking normal races. <laughs> Could this be a character? <laughs> Let's find out here at the bottom of the TLC. Chasing waterfalls. It's not a character. A thunder shield. Listen, you gotta crack him against Kefka at some point. Yeah, always good to teach yourself some spells or crack when needed. Uh, I missed one of Zelfer's characters. Who am I missing here? Celeste. We have Strago, Locke. Realm. Did we ever get. That's who it was. Oh, wait, yeah, we have Realm. Yes, I missed. I missed. Uh, is that's when uh yes got it from collapsing house uh i think this is our first look in the magitech factory right i believe so 
And our first look at Esper Mountain here. And hey, we found Norse's Kefka. Hey! Hurry up, guys. We gotta kill the clown. We can end the run right here if we kill him. <laughs> if only. Right here. But he ran away. What a coward. Well, it looks like we're just gonna have to kill Sid again. <laughs> <laughs> I shouldn't laugh at that, but I am. <laughs> Meanwhile, Drinks Glue sending a th ice shield over to Fitz. So our runners... You sent me a thunder shield, so I'm going to send you an ice shield. Oh, wait. It's just an ice shield to Fitz. Whoopsies. Our runners will be pretty well protected here. You sent me a thunder shield? Have an Aegis shield, Glue. Oh god. Definitely don't need that. Shield trading. Meanwhile, Celeste gets bodied there by SR Behemoth. What do you what do you, what does SR stand for for you? Nehru. <laughs> I Sir Behemoth, man. Sir Behemoth. Sir Behemoth. Senor Behemoth. Another opera. Senor Behemoth. Senor. Senor. And it's Fenrir. <laughs> you gotta, you gotta do Fenrir, the. Fenrir, there's our calmness. You gotta roll the R. Uh. <laughs> Miss it <laughs> Yeah. So calmness protection, as you mentioned, <laughs> for Hefe. Thank you very yes, much. Indeed. Come this protection. We love to see it. A valiant knife. I think he already has one. What you got there? A knife. No. Yeah. So if 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 Fitz finds a Genji glove, then he'll be in business there with the double valiant knife for Locke. Genji glove. Dark. Genji glove. Offering. I almost said darkness because I looked. That glue screen. <laughs> I thought that was like a free enterprise item that you were confusing with a Worlds Collide item. I don't know how people play more than I one rando it. like that at a time. It's it's crazy to me. Trust me, sometimes I, I call Edgar Kane. <laughs> they both are blonde and they both can jump. Therefore, they're the same, I guess. That's it. If they jump and they have blonde hair, they're instantly a, just a Dragoon. They're, it's Kane Highwind. That's it. Zelfer is sending another Esper over to Hefe here after this Narapa fight. That's Bahamut. So that's a nice one and to a find. Baja Blast. Mmm, delicious soda. Mmm, yes, soda. Dr. Pepper happens to be Would my you? my pick, but, you know, if I'm at Taco Bell, I'll have, I'll... I'll I'll mess around with the Baja Blast. Nice little dance here with Draco. Draco, Draco. I've heard it pronounced Draco, so I'm assuming it's Draco. Well, unfortunately. Are the okay, so let's do it. Yeah, unfortunately, uh, we didn't have any like voice acting or vo voiceover pronunciation back in the day, so it it's whatever you want it to be. Your guess is as good as mine. I've played the Pixar Remaster, and I've heard it pronounced in the Pixar Remaster, Draco. Okay. Well, there you go. Very good Pixar Remaster. Totally recommend it. 10 out of 10. Would recommend. Yes, indeed. Have you ever uh, done the non-English, like, scenes of the opera? I've heard that some of them can get pretty wild. I have heard the Japanese version. Mm -hmm. It's the same voice actors, just actually just singing in Japanese. Draco's voice bothers me. I don't <laughs> like it. I mean, it's got to be better than the the OG Super Nintendo, right? Oh. oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, see, th there you go. <laughs> You're not getting anything else out of me. That's it. 
That was still pretty good. That was, that was pretty good. I, uh, <laughs> I play guitar and I'm tone deaf. So if you could do that, then you're, <laughs> you're better off than I am. I've, I try. I've tried. <laughs> I was a choir kid once upon a time. <laughs> it's been a while, but yeah. I still I still know a little bit. It's not really a skill it's you still lose, good. though, right? It's not like you forget how to sing all of a sudden one day. We didn't I have, mean, you could. Uh, unless you had, like, a slave crown on and, and bumped your head, you know, like, like Tara did in the beginning of this oh. game. Just nice little boop. Wasn't the friendliest love tap, guys. No. No taros were harmed in the production of this stream. All right, so Fitz sends an Esper over to Drinks Glue, so that'll bring him to six. That is the biggest count thus far for any of our runners. Oh my. Six Espers, and we need nine to get to KT. We need nine to unlock Kafka. Where is Glue going? Glue's doing glue things. I mean, if you keep going up, you will get fight around. you will fight Guardian, but you can't actually kill him. So yeah, you better turn around. <laughs> turn around, don't drown. Except drowning this time. Oh, is, speaking of know. Guardian, it's like it's like Voldemort. I just speak its name and it appears there <laughs> for Hefe. Oh, we have a shadow for Zelfer over there. Mm. Welcome to the party, Shadow. I think. Oh, he's punted. Sorry, honey. Oh! Oh, boy. Did somebody order some spicy chicken? Because I know I didn't. Delish. It looks like Glue is in for... Oh, wait. Oh, yeah, they do have the same seed. He, he's in for yes. quite the awakening. Yes. Once yes. he gets out there. Yep. Unfortunately, Merton is not going to help... Uh, Zelfer here, so it looks like he's gonna have to choose some other strats. We're using quick. Yeah, so quick will allow you to take two turns in a row without getting countered in between. And it's always nice to get a pearl proc. Thank you very much. Did we get an Illumina? That looks oh, that's just the Lance. Yeah. I don't know why he he's like poking the uh, the spicy chicken there. <laughs> Sometimes we just have to make sure that chicken's still good. That... I don't know how good this chicken is, <laughs> but y'all y'all in chat can figure that out. Better, better be a thermometer at the end of that stick that Celeste is using. Yeah. And then we have Sir well, Senor a... Scrantium <laughs> Sriracha Super Behemoth for Drinks Glue. Well, that sure didn't do a lot, lot of damage. It healed him instead. Gotta love healing. Oh, down goes Sabin there. Nice use of Morph, by the oh. way, from one free fits. Morph does give you double damage for any attack you put out, and it will reduce incoming magic attacks by 50%. So it's pretty, it's pretty powerful. And we kind of figured it out the other day, or actually read what it does and how you do it. You get magic points to refill the bar back up, and the bar gets its maximum at 255 magic points. And that is calmness protection for Fitz. So he's going to be Gotta happy about that. that. And Drinks Glue gets himself a Valiant Knife. A Valiant Knife is... Now it's stuck in my head. <laughs> <laughs> well... You know that's what happens when you when you get thrown into doing commentary. You get uh, you get the sillies as they were. Oh, trust me, I'm good at hitting the sillies. <laughs> well, it looks like we have laundry to throw in the dryer. So one moment, I will be back. I did not predict this happening. Wow. <laughs> the clothes they will not dry themselves. So, Zone Seek getting thrown over to Hefe, so that's his fifth Esper. Question in the chat from Liquid Miro. Um, yeah, so in, in the vanilla game, Cac Doors, I think, give you 10 magic points per fight. 
because I think it's 50 in Worlds Collide and we have a multiplier of five. So, um, so yeah, if you kill 26 of them, then you get full morph meter. Okay, Fitz getting Bahamut from Drinks Glue at the second part of the Magitek Factor. So he's at six and seven. Drinks Glue at six and six, gonna head through the minecart ride. And we just saw that Zelfer ran into the spicy chicken at the end. So we'll see if uh, he's able to, to get past this hurdle here. All right, so we get a couple more checks on team left. Ice Shield heading over to Hefe, so that's another check for Zelfer, and we get an Esper for Zelfer and another check out of Hefe. Uh, apparently, Zelfer only has two Espers. How is that even possible? I guess I was looking at the wrong tracker the whole time. But that is not a lie. Zelfer has two Espers. Down goes another Durgan, so Joker Mage will be happy. That's Hefe's first dragon. No, it's not. It's his second dragon. I lied. I just haven't been keeping up with the tracker proper. And that'll be Zelfer's Shiva. So Zelfer went, uh, I mean, Alexander rather. So Zelfer just went up. Uh, from one to three espers in the span of uh, two checks. Love to see it. All right, Drinks Glue is finishing out the Magitek factory here. So this is the first boss hiding in the Hyde Knights, and then we'll be our delicious dinner afterwards, the spicy chicken. We'll see where one free fits. The Hyde Knights. <laughs> they They're hiding. They they wave high. Hi and hello. Hi, hello. <laughs> Gotta love them. They're not the cutest little things, but they're they're there. And now they're not there. <laughs> oh, we have a Bahamut. Shiva to glue. Wow, we got a Shiva now. Fits down in the ancient castle. So this is two quick checks between this and yet another dragon. And we saw that this is going to be Alexander from uh, the left side. Two espers for the top player in... Uh, this ancient castle area. Very ancient and uh, very unstable. Yeah, I mean, did you see the, the people dragon's getting, gone though? Did you see the people getting clawed in half, like in the vanilla game? They get, they just get cleaved. Whooshing. Whooshing. All right, it is shadow there for drinks glue. But, as we mentioned... And here's our meal. It is chicken. spicy chicken time. Mmm, chicken. How do you like your chicken? Um, I do not like spicy food, so I'm, I'm a bit of a... I'm a bit of a... Just a mild... Mild-mannered guy. Although, buffalo, you know... If it's done well... And not too spicy, I, I enjoy... I do happen to like there's this there's this wing place by me that does what's called gold rush and it's basically buffalo sauce and honey mustard stirred up into one and then put on you know some wings so I like the gold rush is where it's at for me what about you Ooh, I'm a big fan of like garlicky wings like garlicky chicken wings mm. I also just really like plain wings in general garlic parm Mmm, that sounds really good. We have Magi Master on Hefe's side. 
Yeah, he's learned Berserk though, so this fight oh, is gonna be is gonna be pretty easy now. So we've had two runaways from Magi Master. Now we're finally back to take him on again. So are you a blue cheese with your wings or ranch with your wings person? Ranch. Mm. Ranch. I love ranch with my wings. Yeah. Zone I... Seeker to Fists. Ooh. Yeah, I uh I like the blue cheese. I, I have to be I, I don't think I've ever tried. I have blue to be cheese. contrarian. Oh, blue cheese is gross, but it's good. <laughs> You just can't gross, but good at the same time. Yeah, you just can't think about it. It's moldy cheese. You just don't think about it. Just eat it, and it'll be fine. It'll be fine. It's like gorgonzola cheese. Have you had gorgonzola cheese? I have not. Okay. Also, I'm a moldy, big but fan fine. of cheese. <laughs> moldy but tasty. M moldy but fine. If it's multiple colors, then let's let's have at it. Mold to bowl colors. I'm sorry, I'm full of puns today. <laughs> Someone's Free Enterprise saw this out of me on Saturday. Someone's gotta do it. <laughs> Alright, so Hefe... That was full of jokes. Hefe is the first person with uh, Magi Master down, picking up Torato. Torato! And that's actually Our his, new friend. His ninth Esper, according to his tracker. I don't know... Ooh. Did I screw up... Uh, I've been screwing up counting. I may have, because Glue has eight espers. Zelfer still only has three. That one is that one is correct. It's okay, we're out of whack. <laughs> that one is correct. We're all out of whack here. It's hard sometimes to keep up with uh, four four people going on screen at the same time, you know. It is. It's always reliable to have more than one tracker with races like this. Alright, so that is Fitz's 10th Esper somehow. AT skip. My oh my. And Hefe has six characters. Who am I missing? I'm missing Realm. There it is. Who would have just, known? just got Realm. She's very evasive. <laughs> very evasive. We also have KT skip unlocked for glue, so glue is almost in go mode. We need just one more Esper. And Golem was sent to Fitz from Collapsing House. Nice. More so, calmness protection. There we go. So now the question is, did... Was it calmness protection for the other runners, or did they both get the same one? Let's see. That's the wrong tracker. Uh, bah, 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 bah. Where's Fenrir? Fenrir and Golem are both with the bottom player, unfortunately. So, still looking for calmness protection for the top players. We're seeing a ghost train play, and I think Fitz is going down to say hello to Sid. Well, to say... Wait, this is the wrong place. We're at the Opera House. Ignore me, I'm just a little silly. It's dragon time. We have a couple pugs down there for Hefe. Yeah, we'll see if he gets any Minerva drops from this one. Each pug has a 1 in 8 chance to drop a Minerva, so we'll see if he gets any out of this. Good job, Setzer. Good rolls. Uh, I don't think I saw any Minerva come out of that. Yeah, I don't either. Womp, womp, womp. Womp, womp. Womp, womp, womp. Alright, and that is Go-Go well, for Glue at the South Figaro Prisoner spot. He wanted to send something to Fitz. Or rather, no, he wanted an Esper for himself. Right? He needs... Wow, there goes... There's Strago for glue from Fitz. <laughs> I'm sure that... Yeah, guys. He's going to be very happy about that. Yay. Yay, yeah, yeah, Strago. 
Yeah, so question from the chat. How does Zelfer catch up in this race? It's really difficult with Archipelago Seeds because the normal rules of, hey, this check can only be an Esper and item, those get thrown out the window because all of the locations can be basically anything. So it's just a lot of looking around for stuff. And sometimes you'll get into this scenario where you've got one runner with a lot of things and another runner needing a lot of stuff. It just, it's unfortunate. I think Zelfer could probably save this run by fake by finding some espers because I if, I if I remember correctly, glowing stones can be at the auction house. Yes, if we're lucky. That is correct. And I think that's the play we're looking at right here. It looks like Glue is doing his job and, well, <laughs> getting rid of Sid. Bringing Sorry, Sid. For, this just, just isn't your run. Bringing justice for a war criminal. I, I approve. Technically, they're all war criminals. Yeah, yeah. We just put this one down sooner. I think Sid is actually dead. Yep, and there it is. As soon as you get the three There he dots, goes. Pour one out for Sid and chat. Alright, so Zelfer is at the auction house. Would you like to bid? Yes, indeed. Give us some gambling. <laughs> yeah, so if I... You know, to actually get back into this race for Zelfer, what I would do is tell Hefe, go to the spots on the map that are the most concentrated with checks. So Hefe right now is heading in to northern Narsh in the world of Ruin. So he'll pick up a dragon and Tritok. So kind of a two for one here. Zelfer is trying his luck in the auction house. So essentially there's two potential rewards here. So I believe I have not noticed if it said glowing stones available, but I'm assuming it did since Zelfer is going for it. Yeah, I did not see either. We'll have to check it out the next time he talks to the door person. Uh-oh. See you later, Setzer. <laughs> oh, good night, Setzer. And Mop. Double Durgan fight. Durgan! Alright, so Hefe taken down. There's no glowing dragons. stones. Yeah, so. It didn't say glowing stones still available. Yes. What is Zelfer's goal here? I don't know what Economizer. His... Oh, there is an Esper there for Zelfer at the Red Dragon, so. Hefe doing his job. But yeah, you're absolutely right. It, if I didn't see glowing stones available here, I would dip. Because that means that there is stuff in here that is either items for you or stuff for your your stuff for Hefe. And I guess the only stuff that Zelfer wants to send over to Hefe is more characters so he can unlock more checks. What is the goal here? Oh, there's an imp robot. Oh no. <laughs> Karen to drinks glue and Seraphim to fits. They did a nice little Esper trade. And that puts glue in go mode. Yes, that is super important. So now both glue and one free fits are in go mode. And they both have skip because you can get skip at 21 checks or 12 espers or nine characters. And Fitz just got esper number 13. So he's got to go ahead and Sid and uh, do the opera house maybe. I don't know if he did it or not yet. I, I do not remember if he did. If he did, it was early. It was like within like the first, I'd say, 30 minutes. He'd be the last runner to do the Opera House. Yeah, I know one of the two runners on the right side did it. I just don't remember which one. Because Zelfer and Hefe did it right I know that Hefe away. did it? Yeah. Yes. So maybe Fitz didn't do it and has to do it now. 
Yeah, so he will be doing the opera after he kills Sid here. So that, that fish there is a medium speed fish, so you're kind of rolling the dice because there is a medium speed fish that will give Sid a little bit of health. And there's also a medium speed fish that'll lose Sid a little bit of health. So this is sort of a, you know, just a, a gamble there. I'm not long for this cruel world. No, you are I not, I understand. <laughs> that fast fish is pleading, pick me, pick me, but we are not going to take you, you poor <laughs> little fishy. No. We're watching our first dive in Kefka's tower. Yep, so drink glue with the Kefka tower skip gets to go right to the statue switches where the boss gauntlet starts and doesn't have to kill Inferno. It looks like Hefe sent a tr sent over a Madwin, another Esper to Zelfer. There may be hope yet. It looks like it was his own Madwin and not Zelfer's Madwin. Oh. <laughs> unfortunate. Yes. The rich get richer as they Unforge. say. Unfortunate. So here's the the bad part is that the things in Kefka's tower can be espers, right? So you can go to the Atma spot or the two dragon spot, and those could be espers for your partner. But even if all three of them are, let's say, espers for Zelfer, Zelfer still needs two more espers to be in go mode. So maybe that's why Hefe is shying away from jumping into Kefka's tower right now. Wait a minute, what is happening here? How many imp robots did we just, could we get in a row? Very unlucky. I swear, every time I've looked over, <laughs> I've seen an imp robot. This spoiled brat keeps getting his way and Zulfur does not get his way. Millions of gill down the drain, guys. Deep, deep pocket dad. Gotta feel bad for that. Dad. My other puppy. Look at my puppy. <laughs> He can't do anything to hurt you guys, don't worry. He's such a tame dog, look at him. So, does Atma Weapon have five legs or five feet? Because he definitely has at least five feet. But is that last foot attached to a leg or not? That is the question. Yes. <laughs> We're just going to say yes. <laughs> it doesn't matter what the question is. Just yes. All right, so the first boss in Kefka's Tower for Drinks Glue is number 24, and Hefe just getting blitzed by hyperdrives. Your doggy didn't come come to play today. Oh, no, he didn't. He's a little angry. There's our opera house, though, and this little... It's the best you're getting out of me today, when go. I sound half like Marin from Link's Awakening. <laughs> I have very, very good Marins. <laughs> Alright, so Zelfer unfortunately finds out that his other auction house item is a Genji helmet, not an Esper he was looking for. So Zelfer is at five. That's very unfortunate. So what, what checks can Zelfer do? So the only checks that Zelfer has left Oh no, he's got some bad ones though. He's got Floating Continent, Opera House, all of Strago's checks, Velt Cave. Velt Cave is one that you could easily do. You could peek to see if it's an Esper or not. Uh, Gogo's check and then Owser for, uh, for Realm. So it's not like Zulfur's out of checks to do, but he's going to take his chances in Kefka's Tower here. Take a gamble. And here is... Be like Setzer, guys. Collide. Not in real life. I don't promote real life gambling. No. Not right now. No. Drinks glue, meanwhile. Zone Seek to Zelfer. Hey. There we go. Another Esper. Got love to see it. So that puts him at five. And I've, I've just stopped counting checks for Zelfer because he's already over the... The 21 limit. Eventually, guys, we give up on ch on counting the checks because we're going to get tired of it very soon. Yeah. 
Hefe seeing that it's 40k for it's a Zen Thief in the world of balance. And it's not his Esper, so it could be his item or it could be something for Zelfer. So we're going to sell a bunch of stuff to get up to enough money to go buy that to Zen Thief. Let's see. Oh, it's only a it's value. It's just knife. a VK. Dullahan. Are we getting holy? Oof. Yep. Good night, Cyan. Sleep well, dear prince. <laughs> hey, use of runic. That's how Let's I sleep go. sometimes. Yeah, MP sponge. Get him. You love to see it. Magi Master down for Zelfer. I believe that was Toilet Atma. Yes. Wow. A red cap. Uh, uh, just a All map. for a cap. Just for a Mario hat, unfortunately. I did not, I thought... Unfortunately, guys, Mario Day's passed. Yeah, I thought that was number 24, because Glue fought number 24 in Kefka's Tower, and I didn't even think anything of it, so... Juicy Loot coming out here and throwing his loot around by gifting some subs. Thank you so much, Juicy Loot, for your generosity. We will be using the money from subs to uh, to donate towards our upcoming marathon, which is Saturday, 12 noon Eastern Daylight Time, to support um, Multithon 2024 for uh, uh, service animals to help fund their charity. It's an amazing cause, guys. We're giving autistic individuals some dogs for comfort. The name of the charity is Blue Path Service Dogs. Keep forgetting what the what the name is. <laughs> oh, trust me, I forgot it like twenty minutes ago. <laughs> there will be a quiz but it's for at the an end of this show. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> All right, so one. Yeah, free... chat. You're going to have to answer the question. One free fits is heading into Kefka's Tower at the skip. It is skip time. So we'll be right behind Drinks Glue here. We have one button press. Ha ha ha. Zelfer unfortunately only getting a flame shield from the girl Gold Durgan. Not what he was looking Man, that for. Durgan's being so mean. Yeah, he, he that needs... That Durgan is so mean, guys. He needs espers. Desperately. You get it? Desperately. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm trying to be full of jokes. YouTube comments can make fun of me, but I'm trying to make good <laughs> jokes. There was, there was an attempt. There was a very poor attempt, but I'm trying. Alright, so Zelfer doing uh, Fanatics Tower here. So Fanatic's Tower is actually three different checks. There is the uh, treasure chest at the top. There's the dragon in the middle. And then there's the reward at the bottom. So we'll see if any of these are espers for Zelfer. I'm really hoping he can find some espers. I hate to say I'm struggling this much on his esper count. We are in Kefka. I have no idea what the time was, but... Wow. Oh wait, that time really only starts when we initiate Kefka. Yeah, Say soon... hello to Kefka, everybody. As soon as we uh, choose, our, choose our destiny, aka our party, then we'll be... Choose your character. Yeah, it's like a, like a fighting game menu. Oh no. Doom game. Oh, yeah. Oh. Lock goes down again. To that Doom gaze. We are at 12054 for entering the tiers for Drinks Glue. Onward and upward. All right, so we know we have Sword Tick 8, so that'll take care of uh, two parts of this boss the long arm here in part one and the tools in part two. I don't know what else we have. I don't know if we have Siren or Mute. And I know I that. Believe? Hmm. 
I'm I know, not sure. I know that one free fits his calmness protection, but I don't think drinks glue does. Oh, he has life three. Okay. So that'll be our calmness oh, he'll be protection. Fine. Just block it like a boss. That's it. Dodge away. Meanwhile, Robot- Or be like Sabin down there. Robot at the top of Fanatic's tower. But we have- Wonder how he got up, up there. <laughs> it's pretty heavy to walk up all those stairs, man. He was flying nonetheless. <laughs> yeah, Air Force but makes down more- Down goes Guardian. Air Force makes more sense up there than Guardian does, though, for sure. Maybe Air Force decided to drop him off. Just kicked him out the plane. <laughs> it's like, get out! Go do your job! Air Force, a.k.a. Alaska Airlines, decided... No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, Fitz, by the way, taking out Doomgaze and getting locked down to like 500 HP in the process, which is good because his lock has a Valiant Knife, so... He's going to be doing a lot of damage here on this upcoming boss. And unfortunately... Sick him! It is Uncle Ulti. Get him, Locke. Good job. We can get him to quad nines if we get him low enough. Oh, he gone. Sorry, Uncle Ulti. Today's just not your day. Durgan! Nice little Durgan for Zelfer on screen at the moment. Yeah, we'll see if this maybe gives Zelfer one of the espers that he is looking for. He is at six espers. Oh, down goes the Durgan. Down it goes. Drinks Glue, meanwhile, moving Here on two to... on Drinks Glue? Yes. So we'll see if he has access to mute from one of his characters there. Yes, because we don't want magic back there causing any issues. No, magic is not going to be in, like a problem in terms of like killing the team. He just wastes so much time. He's so obnoxious. And there we go. We do have mute. So that is magic taken care of. Bye bye, little obnoxious enemy. I believe the only thing that really could be a worry now is maybe 10 hits. 10 friendly bonks on the head. Just pray your characters don't die. <laughs> or a, uh, well, actually, I'm not even going to say it because it's going to happen. Right? That's that's the commentator curse. I'm not going to say what are the possibilities of Drinks Glue getting into trouble here. <laughs> We have the blue button. We'll be fine. Meanwhile, half a grab and... Celeste. Yeah, so oh. we, we have multiple Celeste on uh, on our left team here. But Zelfer needs them espers. We don't want characters. We want espers. And we want them now. Another Durgan. Oh, wait, that Durgan's gone. Sorry, Durgan. Yeah, so this is the dragon in Phoenix Cave, I think, that, that Hefe just killed. And that is going to send an Esper finally to Zelfer. So Zelfer is oh, now two yes, away. Oh, yes, we have Ramu. They've got to hurry up, because uh, One Free Fitz is now on Final Kafka as well. Couple of tech missiles going off. Bit of blue button shenanigans. They're both in the Phoenix Cave. Interesting. Oh, I should have been playing. That is a 125.56 for Fitz. I should have been playing the dancing Get some tears. song, huh, chat? My bad. Yeah, we might want to give them that. They might riot. I don't think we want them doing that. All right. Yeah, let's let's go ahead and do that. the chicken or the egg. Give them their music. They deserve it. 
first. Yeah, unfortunately, I'm playing like uh, just, you know, some random music because I didn't want the team chatter to cut in, you know, while we're doing our commentary. But now that we're doing Kafka, we got to put on the, the song. Do the thing. Do the thing, guys. Start bopping. All right, so Hefe finds Raiden in the Phoenix Cave, and it looks like Hefe is going to go and do Celeste's checks immediately here. Let's get some Celeste checks out of the way. Yeah, there's a couple that are pretty fast. The South Figaro Prisoner spot, unfortunately, is yet another Esper for Hefe, and that'll be his skip because that's going to be 21 checks for him. I don't want any espers. I want to give my teammate espers. Yeah, that's part of the trouble of multi-world is that uh, <laughs> this can happen where you have one teammate that sort of gets all the goods and the other one doesn't. We're on tier three for drinks glue. We have lady and sleep. Yeah, so let's see how he approaches this. I assume he's going to either use Life 3 or he's just going to YOLO it. Both of which are effective strategies against Calmness Protection. Or without having, you know, Golem Fenrir at all. I feel like we have an incoming Calmness. I, we still got a way it's to. Not far now. We still got a, a little ways to go here. That that Ultima definitely took care of Girl right away, and we've got Quick queued up with Sabin. So it looks like doing math, he's doing at least 10k per turn. So this will be 20 more k, and then this will be the Medio right here, unless Glue has hit Sleep with some more because he has 40,000 HP. And just as you mentioned, there is There's the calmness. calmness. Oh, 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 Edgar! The figure bros go oh. down! The figure bros go down! Wait. Sabin lives! He gets back up. Sorry, Edgar. We kind of got to leave you down there, honey. Alright, well, that's quite unfortunate for Edgar. But, Drinks Glue is heading up to fight the mad clown Kefka himself here. He's coming for you! The clown's coming! Look at him and all of his glory. <laughs> all of the power given to him. Well, stolen. <laughs> you, know the, you know, you guys know the actual lore. I don't. I'm joking, I do. Well, that's He the, gives you his cackle. That's the fun thing with Worlds Collide, is that we kind of just took out all the story parts and just left in the fighting parts. So. Why yeah. have story when you can just fight? Yeah. Hefe getting the message here that there are no shiny stones in here. And unfortunately, this first item is his $20,000 item and it's his own force shield. So that's at least one Esper that's not in Auction House for him. Fitz gets a couple of his characters frozen. That's not good. Uh-oh. Come on, Locke. Let's thaw him out. Crispy. Oh, oh, a little too crispy. <laughs> <laughs> Left that in the oven a little too long, huh? Whoops. No locks were burnt in the, in the production of this stream, guys. Don't worry. He's just acting. And Locke goes down on the other Kefka fight. <laughs> Locke seems to be hitting, on, the deck, Locke. hitting the deck a few times here. I think Drinks Glue is waiting for the charge up for Goner so that he doesn't get counterattacked. Lock, you know what to do. Sick him! Alright, so here comes the goner charge up. This is when Drinks Glue is going to dump as much as he has into this fight here. When you're in goner phase, you have to hit. And when I say hit, I mean throw your strongest things. Throw your buttons, throw all of your power. 
Because once that goner hits, it might hurt. You gotta, you gotta yeet it all. Oh, we Tier 2 for Fitz at the moment. He's having fun. Yeah, so this is what happens when you don't have mute for magic is all sorts of fun, like Sabin getting oh. stopped and his entire team getting frozen. Like, that's magic. Crack and that pow. is Drinks Glue. Look, that's the crack pal. 131.47 for Glue. So he's our first runner in the clubhouse now. And Heck yeah. It's another Amp Robot for Hefe. He must be loving this going to the auction house here. Buy it, pretty please. No. <laughs> Spoiled brat. <laughs> Meanwhile, full team corner. One million go. Oh boy. One free fits is really low HP here. The, I'm, the, I hope this is not a wipe. This is very close. We just can't open with a Merton. Yeah, that would be devastating. That would be sucky. Unless so we have mufflers on, snow mufflers. On anybody. Yeah, so the snow... This the snow is bad. The snow muffler will half the fire damage. It won't nullify it, so it's he still might die to... Uh, Oh, poor Merton. good. It's only Pearl Wind. So Pearl Wind is what the girl casts. What is sleep cast? He's going to do nothing on his first turn, and that is going to give us time to heal our party. Thank goodness. Honestly, me too, sleep. I want to do nothing too. <laughs> sleep is having one of those days. Honestly, <laughs> I get that. We all have our days like that, sleep. Don't worry. We're witnessing the opera over there for Zelfer. I think this is the dragon. No, it's not. It's opera. It's opera. It is the opera. You're absolutely right. I'm sorry. No, there's no need to worry. It's difficult to look between four at once. <laughs> I'm used to only two. Yeah. You gotta squint real hard sometimes. You gotta really think about it. Just like, what is that? Oh. Well, the cool thing is that the condemned counter has been put on Sabin, who was stopped, which also means the condemned counter doesn't count down. So, <laughs> that was probably the best target that Fitz could ask for. But oh no, out comes the choo-choo. train. Oh. And that means that Realm can't use her magic, and the blind status or the dark status actually works in uh, Worlds Collide. We fixed that bug. Thanks for that, devs. Oh no. Here comes Meteo. Oh. Oh. Ooh, that is ugly. There we go. Golem protection, though. Golem protect after sleep attack. And unfortunately... The thing is, we have lost Sabin. <laughs> so Sabin got hit by two different columnists. <laughs> Poor feel thing. Bad, feel bad for Sabin. Pour one out in the chat. All right, so let's see. Hefe. I got that dog in us. <laughs> we love glue, guys. There it is. All right, so Hefe. Here he and, is, guys. Hefe and Zelfer reaching the end of their checks, hoping to get Zelfer's oh. nine espers here. I just got to do my little. Now I can go back to my dog. Hello, puppy. The pink and purple Look at version. Him. Pink and purple version. The older one too. The one with the little gears. The one who's been having a mental breakdown for the past millennia. You know, if you were put in a toilet, like you'd be, you'd be pretty mad too. I'm a weapon of mass be. destruction, not a roll of toilet loo. 
Not a bog roll. Not a piece of toilet paper. I didn't mean to forget him there. It just happened. All right, so He's Zelf... still mad at me for that, too. So Zelfer gets Sabin, and it looks like Hefe is going to get some fixed ice from... From Zelfer at the Opera House. Unfortunately, neither one of those is the solution. Sets are getting... <laughs> getting gut checked there for a 5k Havoc Wing. You okay there, Setzer? Yeah. I knew you'd be fine. My god, it's Celis! Who would have known? <laughs> Alright, so... Charge up for Goner is coming. And out go the shields. Out go the Valiant Knives. Everything! Throw it all! Have no mercy towards this clown. I calls himself a god. And it looks like Fitz has that cat in him. A different medical condition. Rack kapow! And there it is. The end of Kefka I for one free Fitz. 137.44. Oh, makes sense. So that is a combined team of 3 hours, 9 minutes, 31 seconds for our right team. Not bad. And here we have one free fits and drinks glue. GG's on your runs and well, how do you feel? How do you think you played? Um, I'll go first. Pretty pretty good. Drinks got me a lot of stuff. Um and I don't know, a little bit early on I was looking for offense, but it eventually came together and Considering we had to do some extra stuff, I feel pretty good about that time. What about you, I'll drink break the news to them. They did good. <laughs> yeah, you that guys. was the, the best Amazing. one we've done so far since this pairing of uh, cats and dogs has come together. We got the we have we have a cat inside of Fitz and a dog inside of Glue. Yeah. Um, Quite the medical not, conditions, man. Yeah. Well, you know, you know, they're tough to diagnose. You know, one of the million type of thing. You know, but we're we're working on it. We're seeking the proper medical advice. But I, I think as a team that that went really really well as well as you could have could have hoped for. Um, there was a point where I was a lot more at checks, far ahead in checks. So I was like, hey, maybe I'll slow down and go do the opera, and try to let you catch up because if I just keep sending you. Progression, progression, progression. I, I could potentially wall fits or slow him down while not adding any difficulty to my seed. Um, so that that was the thought process when I started doing the opera and then the and then the uh, kill and Sid. Um, for our last Esper that I needed, um, Pitts had like 12 Espers and I was still stuck on like eight. We were going to go into the castle our Kefka's tower and just start doing those at some point in time just to see maybe it's in there and you know while we're there we can clear our statue bosses and if we have to leave we have skip you know so then we just come right back after we find it outside um but we didn't have to because he found it for me somewhere and uh things worked out pretty well hey and Zelfer yes, they did. Zelfer finally getting us for number eight golem at tritalk oh nice so it would have been nice for you to have golem glue because you uh you lost both of the figure bros to calmness and fitz had his sabin eat a calmness so not a good day for casa del figaro uh <laughs> hey and there's yeah, I mean... number nine for for zelfer zelfer finally in go mode now go ahead yeah for me uh seven didn't have a lot to do like their job was to uncurse the shield which they did a good job of they died in a fight, which turned out to be my savior against Doom Gaze, because everyone else was level 40. Um, so that was a little serendipitous. And yeah, they got stopped on tier two and then didn't do anything after that, other than wait trick for me every now and then. So they were there. They existed. Oh, well, early on, 
they had the blowfish rage that got me through my first grind fight so i can't say they did nothing but um having the morph realm with high magic power and then i had a magic power plus two esper too so it finally came together um i'm gonna give a special shout out to magi master in the sky <laughs> i was super happy about that but we went back got our revenge yeah. Don't worry, you're not the only one who saw Magi Master and had a little woo, moment. Yeah, that Magi Master. Well, at least you knew it was there and could come back. You're like, you know what? I can come back later if I have to. I don't think you ever did. Hefe, I know, learned Berserk at some point, so he went back to take down the Magi Master. Um, but so. For the most part, you guys were pretty balanced on progression, whereas, you know, obviously if you're watching the stream, it has taken Zelfer a very long time to get his nine espers. I guess you just chose the correct checks to be doing. Was there any rhyme or reason, you know, uh, uh, Glue, why you did or didn't pick certain checks for your, your espers after getting... I think both of you got six characters pretty early on. Um... In a more traditional flag setting, you kind of let the the orthodox things that stuff can be dictate where you go. But in this, it doesn't matter as much because a dragon is much as likely to hold a piece of progression as the two spots at Magic Tech. Um, so you just go to the fastest possible route and just you know just throw as many darts at the board as you can as you can as fast as you can, and, and eventually you know. Eventually you'll hit bullseye, and so there's no point in picking your favorite checks. There's no point in going to you know up to Kefgat Nar or uh, Kefgat Narsh really because you can have a character in someone else's world, you know, at his Phantom Train to send to you. So you can kind of fade all of the awful checks and just really save some time that way. Yeah, similar for me, kind of looking at fastest checks on the board at any given time also you know i had to kind of take some uh, i'd be like oh i need to go to an encounter fight because i got behind scaling a little bit um i'm curious if hefe because hefe was my seed partner right and we were running the same mm -hmm. if today it pulled the valiant knife out of the out of the coliseum oh there was a lot of good stuff in the coliseum there was a valiant knife there was a sniper um, there was... What else did Hefei find? It was some... Uh, I do not remember. It was so long ago. Like, it was only an hour and a half ago, but it was so long ago. <laughs> Definitely another piece of armor. Um, maybe an elemental shield was also in there, too. So mm -hmm. he, he found a few different... Shield. He found a few different things in the Coliseum. He... So Zelfer and Hefei decided to do the the, you know, the two other objectives first, the opera and the killing of Sid. Um, mm -hmm. And then Hefe went, did his looting, and then did Coliseum. He fell behind scaling a bit because he only did, like, one or two checks, and, oh, no! Doomgaze Fatality! Oh. Doomgaze, Scott. Doom, Doomgaze math to you. Very sorry. Double kill. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so Doomgaze... Getting the body count even higher, because I think he got three of your party raid fits. Yeah. Ooh, um, they're both no, I only had two there, and he took down my lock, which was actually kind of good, because lock was at full HP, and I needed him to be low. Um, but that was what I was saying. I like Savin died in one of my boss fight so he was a level behind everyone else mm -hmm. and so he was only 39 when anyone else i would have sent down that lane with lock would have been just a full wipe and then i would have had a grind yeah I off, of, I, I, off of 40. i think that must have been you either you or zelfer glue that got the uh full three out of four doom gaze well i lucked into my doom gaze fight with a fresh realm that could just barely cast ultima to get through it yeah. Um, and then I added an ether feeder a little bit to get through it. But all my characters were the right magical number. There it is. Sometimes you got to beat the math. 
the math. Math is very rude in this game sometimes. Oh yeah, for sure. I think my other big play was I knew where Pearl Rods were in South Figaro. So when I got Edgar, even though I didn't really want him in my party, I still put him in. So I was like, I might need these later on. And then I scale. needed all of them. <laughs> yep. That is... Yeah, I remember finding Ice Rods and Thunder Rods in the same shop, but I never really had any difficulty as far as the beginning game because I found the two Ice Shield. I, I, that Returns was funny because it was Elixir, 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 Ether, Elixir, and then there were also two Ice Shields in there. There are a lot of Elemental Shields going back and forth in this game. A lot of well, shields of it, in general going back and forth. Yeah, part of it too is because you pass around so many... Because everything is so open, there's so many more dead checks. And then yeah, obviously there's three elemental shields in the dead check pool. Yep. And you're, you're just going to end up with bright protection almost no matter what. And then I liked the, you know, you guys found realm for each other at the same exact time. <laughs> yeah, we planned that. Totally planned. Two, two realms don't make a right. Um, now, Schwanz, did you plan to put Magimaster in the sky for me and me and Hefe? I feel like no, no, you no, were no. vetting some seeds and throwing them out. So I, I Listen, I threw out some doozies. So this one this one made the cut. Uh, there, were some, there were some pretty bad ones that I threw out. Because the thing is, I like, how bad they can really get. I, I mean, you could look at the playthrough and be like, "Oh, that's awful!" Like, there was one I think I generated where the checks weren't so bad, but almost every single character, like one player, had to find for the other, and that's just so lopsided. It's not really all that fun, you know. So sometimes you do have to be careful of what it is. And this seed, well. I thought it looked pretty even, but clearly uh, Zelfer and Hefe missed that uh, <laughs> missed that sort of game balance there. Well, they found 27 espers between the two of them. <laughs> yes. Just... But no, I, I actually think yeah, having Magi Master being at the Doom Grace Boss is the best possible place he could be, because that way you know he is literally nowhere else, and that way, until you are ready to take that challenge, you just let him sit there. Yeah, yeah. Unless you run into him randomly. <laughs> yes. The skies will search for you. <laughs> oh, man. So, Drinks Glue, you have uh, anything you are looking forward to besides our, our little soiree on Saturday? Um, We have a lot of stuff to plug while Hefe and Selfer, uh finishes out so let's start plugging um let's, let's, let's do a little back and forth here uh fitz you want to plug something first then i'll go then schwantz and just we'll just keep going yeah so we do have our our multi-thon race i also have a host shift um during multi-thon oh nice i'll be hosting the the last run on <clears throat> saturday which is I think Kingdom Hearts 2, um, which I know almost nothing about, so <laughs> it would be exciting to watch and learn. I don't have to call the race, so. Well, I mean, um, you know most of the characters, right? Isn't it just the Disney cast? Well, no, in Kingdom Hearts 2, there's still some a lot of Square Enix characters floating about. Yeah, that one still has the Final Fantasy characters in there. Yeah. Um, but yeah, what do you want to plug next, drinks? Oh, uh... Tomorrow night at 8 Eastern, 7 Central, we got the one and only Honeydew taking on Chakamus Wedge in uh, Warring Trad Finals. Uh, Honeydew's team is up 1-0, so Jack, this is a win or go home situation. If Jack can pull it out, then sometime Saturday will be the deciding match for Awards Clyde Warring Triads event, but if Honeydew pulls out, it, it is officially over. We can... Uh, declare a champion so a lot on the line tomorrow night we can start planning the parade right yep um all right so i guess it's my turn now i will plug the charity marathon that we are doing on saturday which i've plugged uh a few times here now so saturday 
noon Eastern time, uh, twitch.tv slash multithon. We'll be doing a 2v2 uh, archipelago race. Uh, one free fits and drinks glue will be runners in that. I will also be running alongside uh, uh, Questifer Warkin. And we have uh, a couple of commentators lined up for us as well. So Hefe and Zelfer were nice enough to help us vet sort of the uh, the setting seeds that we have for this to make it not obscenely egregious. Um, but the charity marathon we're doing is for Blue Path Service Dogs. That allows for the training of uh, service animals for people with autism in order to uh, help out their conditions. So really good um, charity that we're helping out. Actually, what's really gnarly is I was at work today in a code review, as developers often do, and uh, one of my one of my teammates actually came in and had a Blue Path service dogs like T-shirt on. Or, like, mm -hmm. sweatshirt on. And I'm like, huh, that's so weird. How do you know this particular charity? And they're like, oh, yeah, we uh, we donate and volunteer with them sometimes. And I was like, oh, well, I'm doing a charity marathon. And they're like, what do you mean a charity marathon? So I had to explain to them what speedrunning was. And they're like, what's a randomizer? So it was, it was cool to, you know, see this charity out in the wild, so to speak, if you will. So that was pretty neat. But anyway... Um, so that's my plug. So we're going back around. Fitz, you have anything else you have going on in the Worlds Collide community? Oh, yeah, for sure. Um, the last weekend in March, Friday, March 29th, um, we'll be running uh, a Worlds Collide race. Drinks Clue will be in that one as well. Um, I think we're at 7.50 Eastern on Friday. I also am running before that. Jets of Time, um, Randomania is raising money for uh, Nami, which is which is another great great charity. So, got two this month. Very excited. Always love, <clears throat> always love doing those. And and that reminded me too of uh, you know obviously like we are going to certainly encourage anyone that's able to to donate but another huge helpful way uh to help out is just to like spread the word and try to get as many people to to tune in as possible um the more viewers we have the the better a chance you know random people wander in that didn't know about it right so there there are many ways to help out besides you know participating or or financially contributing. Yeah, so um it looks like we got Zelfer working his way through tier two, Hefe finally getting his tier one underway. Um you're really honored, do you have anything you want to plug? Am I allowed to plug my home where I came from? Of course. My home randomizer. We have free enterprise going on right now, actually, at twitch.tv slash free enterprise. And tomorrow we have the lunar, I believe tomorrow's lunar racing club. This week is, our, we are currently in our club season, and this is, I believe, either, it might, I think it's week A. So this Sunday is Wacky Races. It is my home, my, my home road. I've played FF4 my entire life. It'd be amazing to see you support them as well as Worlds Collide. There's nice. many of our runners that are from Worlds Collide that also came from Free Enterprise. So is, and vice versa. I was going to say, is Wacky Races like Hanna-Barbera Saturday morning cartoon thing, or is it something different? Wacky Races is a random wacky challenge chosen by the Wacky Wheel. I believe this actually do not this week's is, but I can check that really quickly. It's a random wacky challenge assigned to the players, which like it's a wacky like omnidextrous where every character can equip any item. Kleptomania, you can steal anything. Who doesn't like being like Edge and taking everything for your own? This week is fist fight, which means everybody is going to be like Yang, have his growths Ooh. and everything. I, 
<laughs> Guaranteed Rosa. You have to have a Rosa. You need a healer. There we go. I, I picture that. All with characters like, use uh... Yang's weaponry and damage algorithm. <laughs> Fun with that. So it's going to be about getting levels big time. Yep. Yes, it is. Uh, it's also going to be how long can you last? I think we're back to you, Glue. You got something else to plug? Well, I was going to say that was like the Imperial Banquet when you have to pick what you want to toast, and that was to our hometowns. <laughs> yep. But no, um, again, we have uh, one more race tomorrow night for those that regularly tune in with us or are just joining us out. We'll be uh, living in tomorrow night. Um,. It's like Zelfer is wrapping up his tier three. Hefe is blazing through his final Kefka as well. Yeah, um, super, super duper. They got so many levels because they did a lot more checks than you guys did. <laughs> anyway, go ahead. No, so uh, let, let's see. We did launch uh, a community weekly newspaper nice. called the Mobiles Chronicle, which will be posted every Sunday in the. All oh, Fantasy Six, Wolves Collide Journal, Trat said. And it's just a little weekly what's on tap, what are some of the things players can play in, um what are the same some of the things going on in the community. It's it's kinda hard, especially I remember when I was joining, when I originally joined the Discord, I sat in the beginner's house probably for the first six months. And I never really ventured out just because we have a hundred threads. Or we it's have a, a like fifty on. rooms and a hundred Yeah, it's a lot going on, especially if you're just trying to learn the randomizer. Randomizer. So I just sat in the beginner's house and occasionally asked questions um, and played offline a little bit. But uh, th that's kind of what this place is for. It's for everybody, but it's also kind of tailored for that. So, you know, um, it's really hard to keep up what just tracks on I posted on a Tuesday when you only check the Discord once or twice a week. So it's just some kind of kind of co consolidate some information for everybody. So everybody can be available, know what's available to them as far as a. Uh, well, it's Clyde's standpoint, what's going on, what you can play in. We have our final Kefka here for Zelfer, and we're in our... We're in the phase. Just the phase. Throw everything at it. Go, go, go! I forgot to do my little... <laughs> I have no energy to do that, guys. I'm sorry, but that's the best you're getting. Oh, outcome's goner for Zelfer. Oh. So, uh -oh. I think he'll be all right Wait, with so his 5,000 HP, die. Edgar. Yeah, so Drinks, you had, Good a night, lot of, you had a lot of synergy, actually, with the characters that you got. You could get fully upgraded Tech Missile. You got Sword Tech 8. You know, so you had some cool things going for you there. Well, that was pretty cool. Because um, I said to myself, unless this Saban has Sword Tech, I'm not taking him. <laughs> and then, of course, he had Sword Tech. Um, and then he was level 3 and everybody else was like level 25, but... You know, you can just do Imperial Camp and let him let him get through it. And then the funny thing about experience in Worlds Collide is that you are you can play through an entire hour of your seed and then finish in like the 120 time frame and still acquire more experience in that final 20 minutes than you did in the first 60 just because of the way the experience scales and the way some bosses you come across and it gets paid out. So, yeah. Good piece of advice there for sure. Um, so yeah, we also, Warring Triads last week is this week, and then we'll be just around the corner from Ultra Sleek Season 6, so stay tuned for some announcements on that, and where everybody's division placements will be. I'm sure that we will have signups being going up in the next couple of weeks until then, but you'll see a lot more Ultra Sleek races on, on the channels for sure in the next coming weeks here. Um, so it'll be similar to this flag set with the, you know, six character, nine esper, 21 check, skip sort of situation. Um, I, I guess it's time to relearn Ultras League. Well, you know, if you're if looking only, to relearn you know, Ultras hey. League. The segue. Or, uh, <laughs> um, or if you just are thinking about doing it for the first time and, and you want to... You want to get some practice in. I do. I host a weekly 
async of the ultra sleeve flags. I've really wanted sometimes to just change a single flag and see if anyone notices, but <laughs> so far I've been able to resist. Um, and so it's just a, a very chill week-ish long race that I keep open, Ultra League flags, because I roll the seeds. They tend to be cursed, which, you know, that happens in real Ultra League <laughs> races, so it's good practice for that. And, you know, after the race, everyone talks about how it went. You can see, um, lately we've been getting like 20 to 30 people racing each week, so you get a lot of input oh, in terms good. of yeah, what awesome. was the fastest path through the seed or you know, kind of seeing where the times bunch up and, um, you know, just getting a play with a bunch of people of variety of skill levels. And I know in the past couple of weeks, I've seen a couple of fresh faces in there too. So um, the stakes are very low. You get a wooden medal that is a digital wooden medal. I would um, argue the stakes can be higher. And, you know, you get your name mentioned because I usually post... The theme I go for in the Ostros Underground is un unsanctioned sports entertainment. It's very wrestling themed, and so it takes place in like the basement of the Vector Inn. It's like in my head canon where all this action goes down, um, and I'm the like somewhat shady promoter. <laughs> Only a Hence little shady. Don't worry. My guys. comment about like we sneak a. The real one I've wanted to... I'm going to be open about this. It's B-Dash. I wanted to just slip that in there. Just in um, case anybody accidentally held the B button. I've been playing a lot of Career Day where it's on by default. Mm -hmm. And I like running around even yeah. faster. A few moments later. April Fool's Day would definitely be a very good time to get them. Hopefully they'll all forget by then. Yeah, I'll turn on, like, permadeath and normalize into sword. That'll be a good April Fool's Day. Why isn't girl dead yet? <laughs> you thought oh, you thought this was Ultra League. April Fool's, it's it's worse. And there it is, Hefe. That's it. 204. 31. Well, it looks like our estimate of two hours is going to be really stretch to its limit here depending upon <laughs> what kind of seed we get for our our marathon we'll hope that uh we we'll hope we get a, a relatively easy one there so let's drag hefe and zelfer in hefe zelfer hey ggs congratulations GGs. on finishing that one out finally you found the stones for zelfer yeah, I found Zelfer's stones. It took a long time. <laughs> took a very, very long time. <laughs> Even still, you both played amazingly. Thank, well, you. thank you. Yeah, so we had fun doing it. I mean, that's the important thing. We 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 had a good time. Well, if y'all would have been in our voice chat, you would have been laughing for like the last two hours. <laughs> Yeah, well, when both of you go to the auction house, you know it's a good seed. Uh, <laughs> especially when you see Hefe at the auction house, you know something went terribly wrong. I'm always in the auction I house. I saw That's many normal. imp robots. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, there's a reason I don't have a camera on my stream during those times. <laughs> that spoiled little kid definitely got his, his reward tonight, let me tell you. Indeed. I want you to buy it for me. No. <laughs> so tell us Please. a little bit about uh, what what kind of was your strategy there at the end when you're trying to find this Esper. It's hard to peek checks, right? Because if they're items for the other runner, then they just look like they're uh, they're normal NPCs, right? So what 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 Hefe, I guess, was your strategy for Zelfer? Uh, do checks. Just as many as possible. Just knock them out. My my biggest problem was I saw warp stones early. I didn't have any cash like at all, and I didn't buy any. So then that kind of I probably lost a good fifteen minutes not being not having warp stones and avoiding checks that I needed warp stones for. So that really 
that's why I, several times I just went in item shops looking for warp stones, went in South Figaro and looked for warp stones. And it's like, I know that I saw them. I just don't remember where, and I'm not going to go do like realms check without a warp stone. Cause it's a long walk out. Yeah. I went up to try talk, not knowing, or just not even thinking about not having warp stones. And I was like, dear God, I've got to walk out of this place. <laughs> <clears throat> the walk of shame. Yes, and I, I was done doing walks of shame, so I was like, okay, I'm I'm gonna find warp stones, and then I'm gonna go do M Tech for you, and I'll I'll find something for you, you know. And he was searching for himself, so I mean, I can't, you know, it's just the way the seed laid out for us. It just didn't work out in our favor. Yeah, so it looks like uh, there was a Megas rod in Gogo's cave, so you didn't miss out there. Thank goodness, because I wasn't going. A shield, like I refused to go, especially with no warp stones. Mountain. Oh, no, I'm sorry. Maduin was at Esper Mountain for player A. That okay, well, I did, I did Esper Mountain. Eventually. Yes. You guys said eventually. <laughs> um, but, yeah, so question, same question for you, Zelfer. Were you just like, ugh, I got to just keep doing as many checks as I possibly can here? That's exactly it. I was just like, whatever is the quickest check, whatever has multiple checks in one, I was just like trying to rack my brain like all right let me see where can he be and just just get it done quickly maybe and of course <laughs> since you had your favorite character Strago, right that meant uh <laughs> oh man and i was for a long time i was just like nope we're not doing Strago checks i don't have to worry about this but i mean <laughs> like i look at opponents are done in chat and i'm like all right i really need to find my esper i guess really i should get over my my own personal opinions yeah all right yeah, because I was like, why is Zelfer sitting through all these Imp Robot cutscenes? And I looked at his tracker and I'm like, yep, all the Strago checks are all grayed out. <laughs> Makes sense. Of course, I'm going to pick Auction House over Strago checks. That's just an easy choice. <laughs> I saw so many Imp Robots. Every time I looked at your screen, Imp Robot. And the it really. Made me, it made me giggle. The worst part is, after I got through all those Imp Robots, I got a Genji helmet for myself. Yeah. That was a good time Isn't not to be in voice nice chat, by the way. <laughs> well, we did cut in to you guys when you were doing the, the Opera House off the rip, so appreciate you guys staying quiet during that, that part of the game for us as well. Were we yes. quiet? Wait, we were not quiet. I have it set up so that you don't hear the Discord audio on my stream. Oh, okay. I did not realize that. Very smart and crafty. Oh, I'm glad you didn't get in mind. we had to give... <laughs> We had to give her. We have. We had to give Chat the service they wanted. That we had to give them Opera House because we oh, spoiled course. them like that. It's okay. At least Chat got Chat got probably everything they wanted and more just today. Oh yeah, they did. Ain't that right, Chat? Chat the real MVPs today. So um, we did a bunch of plugging of stuff earlier on. Um, do you guys have any or? Let me first ask, uh, Nay, do you have any other questions for F.A. or Zelfer before we get them to plug whatever they want to plug? I do not. All right, so Hefe, you got anything uh, Got anything coming up that you want to plug here or uh, any congratulations or thanks? Um, sorry, I'm counting. This is difficult. <laughs> yeah, math is hard on stream, even if it's plus one. No, um, it, right? it appears that I sent Zelfer more espers than what he is showing. So that's why I was kind of concerned about that. Because I was going back through the log to find out if he should have had more espers than he did. Right. It appears that he had 12. But anyway. Interesting. No biggie. I'll save this log. Just look through it again. Uh, no, I don't really have anything to plug. Uh, go visit Final Fantasy VI Worlds Collide website discord thanks restream team y'all are great without y'all you know our race would have just been a race but you know now people get to see it and have a good time with it and i hope i entertained and hope we have, everybody had a good time That's it was an amazing source of entertainment awesome oh i'm glad everything was an amazing source of entertainment um i'm happy to hear that Thank you guys, of course, the Restream team, um, for setting it up and doing everything. Always greatly appreciated. And um, 
Oh, this was a practice for the um, marathon race is going to happen, I think, later this week. So um, just good luck to you guys on that and have fun. As Zelfer mentioned, our race, and thank you so much, Zelfer, for being part of all of these practice races for the, the run, even though both you and, and Hefe, I know you guys have conflicts during that time and couldn't make it or, you know, aren't in the actual runner's pool that is actually doing that. Um, so thank you so much for helping us out with getting just the, the settings file correct so that this is not a chore. I know one of the races was a chore uh, <laughs> where we had multiple characters in the auction house and Kafka's Tower. So thankfully... We, oh, we, we had fun with that one too, but still, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we did. Well, Good thing you were in a voice chat for that. That that will be avoided for the marathon, so we're avoiding a disaster there. So thank you so much for helping test and for running. Can't have the races without you guys. Noon Eastern... This upcoming Saturday, March 16th at uh, Multithon, twitch.tv slash Multithon, to, uh, to benefit the, I've said the name of this charity like six times and I keep forgetting it every time, the Blue Path Service Dogs, uh, <laughs> giving uh, training and giving service dogs for those in need a great cause. So thank you so much for helping to contribute in all of the ways to that effort all of you so thank you for that um so any other any other things we want to plug here nay before we get back out of here i do not think so unless you want to visit our would you say cousin or or sister randomizer free enterprise cousin uh, or sister yeah i'd I, say cousin yeah yeah uh, that's the, 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 old, the, old, totally the older siblings i'll vote cousin. definitely it an older sibling, I feel like. Yeah. Y'all should definitely look at Free Enterprise. It's not quite like Worlds Collide, but it's still a very fun randomized nonetheless. Many runners that you've probably seen around here in the Warring Triad, like Fiery Blizzard, Tybalt, Possumorpheus, Scarcerer, they're, they're Free Enterprise runners as well. Yeah, I don't know how people Gar do Gar is a pink puff. Uh -huh. Yeah, I, I, I don't know how people do multiple... Like, I run other randomizers, but they're not RPG randomizers. They're, they're low-hanging fruit. Super Mario World, A Link to the Past, Super Metroid. You know, stuff that I don't have to memorize thousands and thousands of battle scripts for. Uh, <laughs> I don't know how... I don't know how you oh, do, trust me. Do I don't both. memorize the script. I just memorize the treasure locations and call it a day. <laughs> Whoever attacks me, attacks me. After, someone after my own heart. Get in the loot. Um, so yeah, that's going to do it for <laughs> us here. Uh, thank you so much to all of our runners. Uh, thank you, Joker Mage, who was with us a little bit earlier on for helping me out with the tracking for a portion of the stream. Thank you very much as well to you, uh, Nehru Liana, for doing commentary with me chopping it up joking it off laughing it up at our runner's expense of course because <laughs> uh, that's that's of why we, that's why we do what we do and uh we'll catch everybody on the next one warring triads finals match number two wednesday 8 p.m eastern time on the final fantasy six worlds collide twitch hopefully we'll see you all there catch you later peace out now have a wonderful evening worlds colliders see ya bye, -bye.